Hey, what up back here on Ninja Kid Fam? We are here with a video of a challenge that our kids got to do after my last UNAA competition up at Ninja United, which was an awesome competition. Make sure you smash that subscribe button if you want to see all about it. We're going to be making a video on what to expect on a ninja competition. If you're interested in that, let us know. But our kids got to go through an obstacle course that Kevin made for our kids after the competition. He stayed late and made sure our kids got to have a fun experience. So as what you're watching now is Jason go through that course. As you can see, he already smashed through the first obstacle, the baseballs and the bungees. And then he went up the pegboard already, kind of getting jumping right in there. Our kids have hardly tried a trampoline before, so this was kind of fun to see the kids do. So what they had to do is bounce off the trampoline and try to touch the green ball there. Our kids are pretty short, take after their dad, so it was hard for them to jump that high, especially with little experience on a trampoline, but they gave it their best. That's all that we ask of our kids is to make sure you try. So. Jason couldn't quite reach that, so I lifted him up and again tried not to give him any momentum, no advantage. So now he's swinging to the rope. He took a few extra swings here, grabbed the rope, pulled back, then he was able to swing to the next one there. Next obstacle, which is the f last piece, reached for it, grab, and then what they had to do is do two full pull ups on that. One, one more two in time. So Jason's time ended up being about 1 minute and 48 seconds. And here is Ben's time. Ben went a little bit slower on this. He was actually the first one to run. Kind of changed up the order a little bit. But Ben was the first competitor so he kind of took his time a little bit more. Jason got to kind of watch him and Jason went one hand per b softball and baseball here where Ben, ben was a little more cautious here. But then coming down Ben been kind of sped up and realized oh yeah I better get going here there we go and he also being the first competitor it's a little more challenging not exactly remembering which way to go and all that but Ben loves the pegboard so he was able to catch up some time here pulls himself up quick and fast here had to go up I think six different rungs on the pegboard two hands up at the top Definitely fun watching our kids compete a little bit in a competition. Yep, see we're reminding him to go over to the trampoline. Again, first competitor. Bit. There he goes. Again, it was a little more challenging for Ben, not having any experience on a trampoline, but, um, and then he went off to the next obstacle and we made him try one more time because he was so close. So we thought, you gotta try one more time. Here he goes, pushes off, doesn't quite get it, but comes awfully close, proud of him for trying. Runs over to that, waits for me to get over and lift him up. <laughs> so he was, he was having a good time though, he loved it. Our, our boys are a little competitive, but um, as you see the rope swings away from Ben, he accidentally kicked it, but he was able to recover here. Pulls back, goes for the full swing, grabs first try here was able to sneak in his two pull-ups pretty quick. Caught up a little bit of time. Ben actually got him two seconds slower than his brother, Jason. Um, he was a little bummed about that at the end, but that's okay. That's all part of it. <clears throat> he was still encouraging and fun. So this is Sophie. This is Kevin's niece. Uh, she was able to stay after. Um, and it was fun to just get, get to meet her. And She was a year older than the boys, but... Uh, she was, she's a gymnast, so she definitely has a lot more experience with uh, pieces of ninja training with gymnastics background, but she doesn't have too much experience with pegboard. I think this was the first time she had ever tried a pegboard, which was super cool that she even was willing to give it a shot, do her best here, accidentally drop the peg. That kind of stuff happens the first time you try stuff. So since we have a pegboard in our garage, if you haven't seen that, I'll leave a link down below to how we built that pegboard if you ever want to build one. Um, but our boys have plenty of experience with the pegboard, so they were able to make up plenty of time there. Uh, Sophie, one advantage she does have is a lot of height. So she was able to bounce off this trampoline and go to the 
the ball pretty easy here. Look at that, she just touches it no problem. She was a handful of inches taller than our boys, so she made that look easy, which was awesome to see her get after that. And uses those longer arms to her advantage too, getting a little bit of swing and was able to grab that rope. Pulls back, was still able to grab onto the final obstacle here and pull herself up. We just wanted to thank Kevin one more time. He stayed later after the competition, after a long day, just to make a course just for us. So that was super special. We wanted to give Kevin a shout out for that. Go check out Ninjas United if you're ever up in Minnesota. See ya!